My name is David Sutton. Um, very weird, I just painted my bedroom this color, I swear, yesterday. So I'm freaking out a little bit, but it's fine. Um, so, I've sold on eBay, among other uh, places like Amazon, Buy.com, Google, all that stuff. I'd say over the past eight or nine years, uh, I don't know, not, not a lot in the grand scheme of things, but, you know, because Rafi knows me, he asked me to come by, and of course uh, I'll do anything for you guys, the Angel Fund, and uh, this is an introductory course to eBay. We're going to touch on a few different things, uh, basic selling practices, uh, how to list, how to get paid, other things like that. Uh, it's a short class, about 30 minutes. We can go on for about 10, 20 hours on eBay. About 30 minutes, we'll just try to touch on everything basic, and we'll take some questions at the end. Um, okay, so I don't know how this is going to work with me in the way. Hey, you want to volunteer? Yeah. Great. You volunteer. If I go like that, you can hit the button. All right. Hit the button. Great. All right. Very simple. What is eBay? Well, Wikipedia says eBay is an online auction and shopping website in which people and businesses buy and sell a broad variety of goods and services worldwide. Uh, eBay started out as an auction site. Uh, it's now a major, major, major force in e-commerce, which, which customers can also buy, buy things as well as bid on things for auction. Uh, why should you sell on eBay? Well, it's very popular. Uh, seventh most in the world, 20 most in, or seventh most in the, the United States, 20 in the world, whatever, a lot of people. Um, millions of users browsing, buying sites throughout the day. People trust eBay, it's a name, it's, you know, one of the major uh, blue chips in, uh, in e-commerce. Okay, let's uh, get right to it. Setting up an account. Um, it's a little small, but it's not really important that you see every little thing, just get, get with the idea. Uh, register with eBay, choose a name, don't spend all day about it. Don't spend all day on it. Uh, just get a name. I've seen huge, massive accounts with names XYZ123. I've seen big accounts that are called um, John's Buildings and he sells carpets. Don't worry about the name. Name on eBay is not important. It helps, yeah. Don't spend all day on it. Pick a name and get started. Just street address, city, state, name, blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> not important, just get it out of the way. This is more important, setting up PayPal. PayPal is the way eBay gets, uh, that you get your money from eBay. eBay also owns PayPal. PayPal probably makes more money than eBay right now. Uh, basically, um, I was around, by the way, when PayPal first opened. I called them up a long time ago. How many guys got working there? They didn't have a number. Well, they said 11. Oh. Anyway, so back to PayPal. You have to set up a PayPal account. Uh, there are other ways to get paid. I'll get into it. But PayPal is the main way to get paid from customers on eBay. Uh, you need a unique email. Address, they probably will ask you for some bank account information if you plan on selling a decent amount. Um, credit card as a backup funding, all sorts of things. Money goes into PayPal, you pull it out. Unlike Amazon, they do not require that you ship the product first before you take out your money, but it is a good idea to leave it in there, especially after a while. They probably will impose some sort of reserve to hold a couple dollars. We'll get into that later. Okay, great. Uh, this is what an eBay listing looks like. This changes every six months. Don't get bugged out. When you sell on eBay, you have to be prepared to roll with the punches, roll with the changes. They change everything. I see people going crazy, other sellers, I always do. They change this on me, they change. You roll with it, you'll be a happier person. This is what a, this is what a, a, a listing looks like right now. They're moving more towards real buying and selling like e-commerce, away from the guy who wants to sell a uh, pair of pants he wore 10 years ago when he was one pounds on So, uh, new quarry, platinum, whatever, this is the title, subtitle, they have customer reviews now on the product, buy it now, in other words, buy it now, it's not a uh, auction, it's just a straight buy. Nope, free standard shipping. Uh, they can now give you a delivery time, this is what the customer sees. Keep in mind, customer sees. Uh, important things that customers see, your feedback rating, percentage, how many feedback you have. This badge, they came up with about a year or two ago. It means that you're doing real well. Um, item location is important. They like to see if the guy lives in New York, he may not want to order you from California because it's going to take a while. Or if he's from California, he's not going to want to order from you because tax. So, uh, it, it works, we'll discuss, you probably heard this last week in Puerto Rican, but same state, they charge tax. Fine. Uh, history, 40 sold on this, on this uh, listing, so it's probably doing pretty well. Um, this is all what the customer sees, all very important things. Your job is to get this up there in the best way 
So the customer will buy from you and not the 47,000 other people that are listing the same product on eBay, some for higher, some for lower, some for the same price. Okay. Listing a product on eBay. Research your product. Um, before you want to list, you want to make sure you, you know, obviously you want to find some product somewhere. Brand name sell, generic sell, everything sells. Make sure you, you can be profitable. Calculate all the involved costs. Costs include PayPal fees, eBay fees, shipping fees, packing materials. If you have labor, if you have a guy picking for you, you know, if it gets big government. Uh, so you have to make sure that you're, you're priced that at the end of all the costs, you actually actually come out with something. Because the truth is, you know, more or less, we'll go into costs later, but PayPal takes 2%, PayPal, eBay takes 6%. Uh, these are big numbers, especially if you're dealing in low margin stuff like electronics. Um, but the higher margin stuff, they take more. That's how it works. You just have to make sure you're getting a good product at a good price. Uh, make sure the product is popular. So just because it's profitable doesn't mean it'll sell. If you find yourself a, uh, I don't know, a, la a lavender paint, it, it may be profitable, you get it at a good cost, but maybe nobody wants it. So, you know, tree falls in the forest with Check completed listings. This is how you find out if it's profitable. You check completed listings on eBay. There's a way to do it. Again, we don't have time to go into exact detail, but there's a little button that says completed listings. And you see if other people sold it, it tells you. Uh, check the amount sold. Remember we sold 40 on that, uh, on that coffee machine? That's good. That means it's popular. Check other sites with rank for popularity. Amazon, Google. More like Amazon. Amazon's, you know, they're monster. You go Amazon, you check the item. On the bottom, there's a little rank. They'll say number one, number two, number 30, number 100. Basically, if it's in the top 10,000, popular item. Marketing. Can you compete and, uh, and profit? This doesn't make sense. Uh, okay. Can you compete by selling the product alone? There's a lot of big sellers on eBay. Not to discourage, there's still room for everybody to sell. It just depends how you market. You bring the product in, you can sell it alone, you can try to make some pennies that way, on, or you can bundle it with something. You can sell the coffee maker and some K-Cups. You know, the little pots. You put it together, put it up there, maybe add uh, something out of, out of the blue. Put it together for a certain price, bump up your profit margin, and you put it up. There are a lot of ways to get profit on. It does not necessarily have to be on the main product. Uh, shipping for free, again, that comes into eBay's best match. Best match basically means how eBay searches. When you're typing something on Google, or you get all the results, that's called Google search. eBay has their own individual unique search called best match. Again, this changes every minute, but you roll with it. Uh, we'll get to what the best match means also in a minute. Okay, eBay best match. Coffee maker, that's what I searched for. This is what comes up. First guy, has the badge, uh, probably has a decent price on it. I, I don't know, I didn't research that. Uh, there are a couple auctions, auctions you can tell because it has the zero bids, zero bids. Buy it now, say buy it now on it. Best match works very simply, or very complicated. Opposite of simply, sorry. The title is extremely important. Keywords, what customers search for. They search for coffee, coffee maker. Uh, that's just very basic. If you want to get more detail, this guy said kitchen aid, architect series. He put the, the SKU, that's the style, KCM 222CU, cocoa silver, the color. For whatever reason, that's a nice title. Again, it's different for every product. Uh, one day shipping available. eBay has a button that you click that. That means the guy has it in stock, ready to ship. eBay counts it. The guy has 99.7% uh, feedback positives. That's pretty good. eBay put it up there. He has 14,000 feedbacks. Again, volume counts as well. So all this stuff boosts his listing towards the top. This badge pretty much means he does everything correctly according to the eBay terms. Put it up there as well. It boosts everything. Boosts everything. And lastly, price. If I have all this guy's, all this person's statistics, and my price is at eighty-five dollars, I'm on page six. Well, this guy's at eighty-nine, but he's a different item. He's up wise guys. Okay, Fine. how to list a product on eBay? It needed its own page. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> what do you want to sell today? This is if you hit the little sell button in the corner. This is the page you're going to get. We're going to go now through how physically to actually put a product on eBay. Again, this is an introductory class. We're gonna, this is probably the only I, only part of it we're really going to get into because it's pretty much what you have to learn to, to put anything on. You have to know how to do it. Don't be scared. Very easy. Okay. eBay now has a way where if you put the product in this box 
and it recognizes it, it throws it into a catalog, a product catalog. It didn't used to be like this. So that's pretty cool because it'll put up all the details, all the specs, and all the fun stuff, and even sometimes even give you a gallery picture, which is a little small thumbnail that you see. And uh, you know, it makes it easy. Sometimes it doesn't find it when you have to fill that out yourself. Fine. Thanks. Okay, so I typed in uh, Tiffin 58 millimeter filter. Basically a glass little filter that goes under the camera lens. Okay, so it found it. Okay, this is skipping a few pages, but it found it. And it told me to find, uh, it gave me a couple choices. I found the right thing that was mine, that I wanted to sell. Filled in the title, and it didn't fill in anything else. Uh, don't know why, usually it does. I think we might have skipped the page, but that's okay. We'll just roll with it. So, um, essentially, all this stuff fills out because it'll be in catalog. And when it shows up on eBay search terms, you'll see Tiffin Filter, and you'll show up, hopefully if you're priced right, on the top area. And if not, you'll show up on the best match. Okay? Again, if you have questions for me after, save them. We'll, I'll answer everything. It gets a little complicated because there are a few different things that eBay, uh, eBay catalogs. They either catalog it product by product, or like that big jungle, that best match that you see that comes up. Okay, title, subtitle. Title usually is free. How much does it cost to list? About five cents if you have a store subscription, which is about 30 bucks a month. Uh, 50 cents if you don't. Probably start off with the 50 cents, save yourself the 20, 29, 50. Uh, just until you get the hang of it. Subtitles, dollar 50, don't use it. Okay, condition. New, used, Refurbished. There's something called new other for some reason. It pretty much means it's refurbished, but you don't want to tell people that. Uh, item specifics. Model. Uh, so this is a filter, so it recognizes it's a photo item, so it... Hey! That's right. Let me just get it. Go back. Okay. I know. One more. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to drop it to you. You're pressing the button. I knew it. I'm Yeah, mistake. Alright, so we have to go back because we're on a completely new page. One more, one more back. No, 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 no. Now you're just giving away my whole class. <laughs> okay, forward, 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 forward. Probably be much easier if I clicked it myself. Thank you. Okay, so this recognized it was a lens, and it lets you click whatever. Circular size, the millimeter, blah, blah, blah. More detail, detail, detail. Up until here, you Why do you fill this stuff out? Not only for the customer to find it, but the more stuff you fill out on your product, the, best, the better it shows up in the eBay search best match. Very important to fill as much a a as you can. Sometimes at the end, of, oh here it says add or remove options. Uh, no, different one. <laughs> Item specific. Sometimes it says add another specific. Add them. The more you add, the better. And with the title, the better titles also show up on Google search, which people click into it and comes right to eBay. Which is also very cool. It's cross marketing. You get on a different site. Works for you no matter what. Um, you can add to the You can add to the you can add to the, to the title. Oh, yes, of course. You can add to the title up to 86 80 characters. characters. 80 characters. It used to be 55. They like yeah. it. It's good for everybody. <laughs> okay. How to list a product. Continue. Again, this came up with this picture. It's a good picture. It's, but pick your own. You can put a nice colored background. You can do whatever you want. If you know how to use basic paint, paint works, whatever. Photoshop. Anything you want to do. Whatever your level is, take advantage of it. Put a nice gallery picture. This is called a gallery picture shows up. Remember the picture of the coffee cup in the best match? That's where it shows up. Then there's the big description. All this space. Standard HTML. HTML is a scary word. But, you know what? There are crazy, elaborate, graphic, rich templates. And there are very simple text where a guy just puts Tiffin UV filter, calls it red and bolts it, puts a nice UV filter. I've seen both sell just as much. Obviously, if you're a professional co company and want to Show that you're a professional company, you'll, you'll invest in a, in a nice graphic template. But again, I, I see these gigantic eBay custom companies with hardly any, but obviously information, but like hardly like the, you know, the, all the flair. So don't let that stop you. If you don't know how to do it, don't let it stop you. Get on there. Next. Uh, shipping. Uh, oh, by the way, I like this. By the way, with this, uh, you can add your, your terms, your conditions. eBay leaves a space for terms and conditions, but you can also leave that, uh, you can also add that as well. Anything you want, you can add here. You can say, uh, my favorite color is blue, if you like. Anything you can put, you can put on the listing. Try to make it relevant. Think of what questions the customer would want to ask, what would make him buy it from you. Again, marketing, this is your spot to do it. Uh, shipping, free shipping. eBay loves free shipping. I love it. Uh, it, it, it makes for a better customer experience, 
So what do they do when they get when you put free shipping? They bump you up again. So it's best to do free ground shipping. Uh, handling time, the lower the better. There's one, two, three, four, five business days. Uh, <coughs> there's other stuff like shipping discounts. It's not for you know, it's not for intro. Uh, exclude shipping locations, not for intro. Uh, item locations, this is where I am, bankrupting. Uh, sales tax, New Jersey, 7%. Obviously, you want to charge sales tax within your state, wherever you're shipping from. It's the law. If you don't charge them, you're going to get charged anyway, so you might as well charge the customer. Return policy. You want to select one. It's either going to be no returns, which eBay allows as long as you write it, but you may not get orders. Three days, seven days, 21 days, 14 days. It's, it's, a, it's a drop down, okay? Again, there's best practices that how you have to treat customers and such. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, then they try to get you on the subtitle again. Again, they, it's free money for them. A buck fifty for a subtitle. Uh, it'll make your product stand out. It's worth a dollar fifty. Probably not. You know, if you're selling a house or a car or something huge, put a subtitle. Otherwise, it's going to eat away from your profit probably. And eBay Best Match doesn't include this in its bump up. Same thing with both, four dollars. I thought they just can do that at eight six. Okay. Uh, here's a listing. Okay, so they'll give you how your listing will appear in search results. Right now, that's the picture. That's the title. We don't have a listing yet, so they don't show that underneath it. And they'll give you recommendations. Increase, you know, you should listen. It, it, sometimes it's to buy a subtitle, but other times, you know, sometimes it's, it's good. It's good, you know. Longer titles tend to be more successful. Correct. Put more title. It doesn't hurt to put a long title. You put, you throw more keywords in. If you have a 58 millimeter, you can call it 58 mm or 58 mm. Some stuff they account for, some stuff they don't. Best thing to do: search yourself for the product you want to sell. See how other people title it. Copy it. Don't worry about it. Nobody's gonna know. Um, <coughs> international shipping. Again, there's uh, I think like 30 countries that eBay goes to. A lot of eBay has specific countries like eBay.ca is Canada, eBay.de is Germany, but they also see the American site, so can offer shipping to Canada is the easiest, and if you you know you have the gumption for it, you can go for other countries. Um, obviously, you have to write in your terms and conditions that uh, customs duties and all that stuff applies to Canada. It takes longer to get to you, all that stuff. Okay, that's how the list went through it kind of quick. If you have any questions, I will give you. I'll answer everything. I'll take my time. As long as they let me to stay on in front of you. Uh, how do the financials work? Yeah. All right, finance. This is the money that eBay takes from you for selling something. Inserting, we already mentioned the insertion fees are either five cents or, or 50 cents depending on your store subscription. Uh, this is the best program out there. It's free, it's online. Google R-O-L-V-E space Google or space eBay pardon. On Google, this will show up. If you don't know it, you should. If you're selling on it, you don't know it, I, I don't know. Okay, you choose the category, you choose your store level. Choose your, your, uh, your discount, which I'll we'll go through in a minute, and your PayPal fee rate. Okay? So, store level, again, that determines your insertion fee usually. Final value discount, FVF discount. Final value fee, FVF, is the amount of money that eBay takes from your total sale, their commission. Uh, I wrote it down because it's a, it's a ridiculous equation, and it changes. Sorry. And it changes every, again, every. Whenever they need more money, they change it. Okay, so stocks down, raise the prices. Fine. So electronics, for example, seven percent for the first fifty bucks. You sell something fifty dollars, they take three fifty out of out of out of it. They keep it. Okay, they they give you the forty six fifty. Hope that math is right. Five percent of the fifty to one thousand dollars. So if you sell something for a thousand bucks, they take seven percent of the first fifty, and then five percent of the the second nine fifty. Okay, which is about forty five bucks. And then two percent of over a thousand. So the percentages go down, the more expensive the items are. So the lower the product, the lower the price of the item, the more percentage they'll take. And the higher end, they'll take less of a percentage. So with clothing, it's more money. It's like 10%. With books and DVDs, it's 13%. Other is, for other is 11%, I guess, if you're selling lavender paint. Uh, PayPal takes money, too. PayPal takes usually 2.9%, I think, to start. Once you get bigger and, and earn more money through them, they lower your rate. The max that I know of is 1.9, but I'm sure they cut deals. So, uh, and it's 30 cents per transaction, which is important if you're selling low-end items. Now, all this stuff is, how, is what you pay either. You put your buy now price in there, your, your shipping handling chart, all this stuff, very self-explanatory stuff. It'll calculate it for you. You don't have to memorize the, that stuff, but you do have to account for everything when you price your merchandise. Um, 
how do you ship? You want to ship UPS? You want to ship post office? You want to ship FedEx? As long as you have a tracking number, don't matter. If you're shipping USPS, low end items, 50 cent items, dollar items, two dollar items, these items can come with high margin. But at the same time, uh, it may not be worth doing signature required, which is going to cost you probably two or three bucks right there alone. So you just have to be careful in the low end stuff, know how you're shipping it, examine your shipping rates. There's different answers for different for everything different you sell. I mean, I sell little items, I sell them in five cent bags and just stamp the address on it and get them out because there's just no margin to deal with. So understand exactly how you're shipping and why you're shipping with which method you want to ship. I don't know if that was the sense. Getting paid. Okay. PayPal. This is what a PayPal payment looks like when it comes in. Okay? Here's the guy's name. It says confirmed here. Seller protection. Eligible. Okay to ship. One, two, three, four different places it tells you you're good to go. What does that mean? It means that if you ship it to this address and the guy ends up being fraud, you're covered. As long as the signature required, the guy signs it, and you supply a tracking number. Okay? So only ship to confirmed PayPal accounts if you care. If it's a 10 cent item, a 30 cent item, a dollar item, you don't care, you want to take a chance, be my guest, you just won't get covered in case it's full. PayPal can impose a seller reserve. This is for larger sellers. Uh, if you're getting up to the amount where you're selling ten to thousand dollars a week, you will get a call by PayPal. They will keep some money for you. Not to scare you, just keep it in mind and don't be shocked. It's part of doing business, you have to mitigate their risk. Um, be on top of disputes and refunds. Customer says, hey, I didn't get it. They're going to put a little dispute in on eBay, on, on PayPal. You got to go in, you got to take care of it, or else if you don't answer, even if you ship it the right way and have tracking and signature, they're going to get their money back. You got to be on top of it. Um, there's a way also to take direct credit card merchant uh, accounts on eBay. Right now, if customers want to pay by credit card, they can pay on PayPal with their credit card. There's a spot. But if you want to skip PayPal, maybe they're reserved, and maybe they're fees and all that stuff, credit cards charge similar, if not more fees, but if you want to do it, let's say you have one, do it, just please don't do it without researching how to build customers properly and examine your risk towards fraud. Ship to authorized addresses, look them up in 411. Basically, get yourself educated. It's not for this class necessarily, but get yourself educated on how to ship credit card payments. There's a lot of fraud out there. You will get nailed if you don't know what you're doing. PayPal does protect you, it is a good thing. There are some negatives, but for the most part, it's highly, highly recommended. Plus, customers feel very comfortable with it because PayPal and eBay to them is the same. Uh, okay. eBay best practices. What does that mean? Okay. This basically means what eBay wants from you as a seller in order to keep you in high regard. Uh, I've seen many eBay sellers, people I know, people I don't know, get kicked off of eBay for just silly, silly things, not listening to the rules. Not even nefarious, bad, evil things, just did not listen. Okay. So what is DSR? DSR basically means uh, detailed seller ratings. There's a bunch of stars that when you, if any of you are bored on eBay recently, they're gonna say rate this guy out of five stars on him. Item as described, communication, shipping time, ship charges. Item as described, very important that you describe your item accurately. If it's new, say new. If it's refurbished, say refurbished. If it's used, say used. If it's a good price, guys, it'll sell. Don't worry about it. If the guy gets it and it's not as you described, the picture is different. Take a similar picture. Oh, this is a decent picture. eBay customers are cranky. Super cranky. They, a lot of times, they don't even think you're, uh, if you're a business, they call me, they think I'm in my basement. They, uh, you know, get out and look at the, how we set me. I said, I'm in an office. Why don't you answer the phone Saturday? They're super cranky. Item as described, make sure it's exact. <coughs> take your own pictures. eBay wants you to take your own pictures, especially on copyrighted items. If you sell a, 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 we have a Rolex watch, you want to sell it, take a picture of it. Don't go to Rolex's site and say, oh, it's a much better picture, put it up. Rolex will call eBay, eBay will call you. But before they call you, they will take your listing down and suspend it. Maybe. Uh, communications. That's if a, guy, a customer sends you, or a customer or even a, a well, this has to be a customer because they bought it. If they rated you, but if he sent you an email and you didn't answer it, that's communication. Even if he says, hi, how are you? Where's my item? And he ordered it five minutes ago, you have to answer it. <coughs> because if you don't, he's going to give you a one star out of five, and that's going to hurt. I'll tell you how in a minute. Shipping time. Shipping time is the biggest problem for sellers on eBay for this. Because you're shipping from New York or East Coast, mostly. mostly. Even if you ship it the same day and the guy lives in California, Texas, Florida, somewhere where it takes a while to get, 
the guy will be a little testy. You will get more bad ratings for shipping time. Which means, the second you get the order, if you have it in stock, ship it out. If you have a no inventory or low inventory model, do your best. Get the product out to the customer right away. Problem otherwise. Ship charges is another one. If you ship for free, it automatically gives you a five star. They, they manage the program that way. But if not, uh, they, can, they can rate you on ship charges. And that, all this is at the customer discretion. Now, why is this so important? Not because another customer is going to see it and say, ooh. <coughs> Rewards for deep DSR ratings. If you have below, like a, a pretty high a level, I, I think it's like 4.9 or something, or 0.5, I don't know, there's a number. But if you're below that number, you don't get rewards on your final value fees. Final value fees, if you're a small business, big business, whatever, it's big money. You know, we, we pay 10, 20, 30 thousand dollars in final value fees at the end of each week. If I have a top uh, seller thing, which means I did all these four things right, and I'm above their their threshold, I get 20 percent off my fees at the end of the at the end of the month. 20 percent. That's a lot of money. That's tens of thousands of dollars to big companies hundreds of thousands of bigger ones, and for you guys, it's money in your pocket for people who are starting. You've got to get all these items right, and some of it's not under your control. you got to, uh, uh, pardon the phrase, kiss butt. Customer gets on the email, oh, where's my item? I ordered five minutes ago. Get it to you. Relax, we're doing our best. Call me, here's my home number, here's my cell. Make sure you're doing, you're getting the customer all these things, because eBay doesn't care about excuses. They just want to know that you're having good ratings. You'll get money back for it. Feedback is less important. You might think feedback, feedback, feedback is less important than DSRs. But it doesn't hurt. Get your feedback. You have feedback revisions if you get a bad one. You can talk to the customer, send them a thing, you get a little bit of mat, you're good. Policy compliance. They change regularly like everything else. That's the rule. <coughs> change. eBay changes. One, we nice. We covered that. Two, answer emails all the time. We covered that. Three, ship immediately with tracking. We covered that. Four, ensure your packages. Ensure your packages. Five. Signature required if you want to be covered. Not more about that later, we cover that. PayPal, you have to make sure that you ship with signature required and tracking or they will not cover you. Again, very important. You cannot solicit feedback. If you're making a, a, a page, leave me five stars, blah, blah, don't leave me. It's against the rules. People do it. By the way, people do everything wrong. Don't look at them and say, oh, but this guy's doing it. There's, I don't know, tens of millions of listings on eBay, hundreds of millions maybe. They can't police everybody. But they will get you, you know, why look, they get me. Okay, no duplicate listings means you can't take, you're selling a, uh, a paint can, you can't do the same listing 4,000 times. Enter tracking after you ship, hey, same as that. Uh, honor your return policy. Don't give customers a hard time on a return policy, it will end up hurting you. They'll, you. they'll get their money back, they will keep the product, <coughs> just say, okay, take it back, get it back, especially from if you're shipping international. 10, list customs policy for international sales. Again, for a future time, really, it's not for intro, but if you're doing it internationally, make sure you list that there are customs and duties going cross borders. Uh, 11 I did not include. There are a lot of deals going on. eBay once in a while will we'll do promotions for new sellers. 50 free listings, 100 free listings, all day free auctions. Take advantage of it. Go crazy. Do whatever you can, whenever you see uh, whenever you see something. Hey, look at this. Best practices. They really do monitoring. This is in your back end. Performance. Power cell level. Power cell means nothing now. Don't worry about it. It's just the leftover. Discount, policy compliant, account status, high, current, item as described. Yay, here's our DSRs, right? 4.89, 4.87, 4.82, 4.94. 4 Sounds good. It's not really. This one's over the 0.5. There's no top rating for this dude. So it's a problem. You really have to be on top, on top, on top of your items. This is over 464 transactions, just letting you know. And uh, again, they keep track of everything. You can see it as well on your back end once you become a little bit uh, voluminous when you start selling stuff. And just to end with, research the product, list accuracy, accurately. This was bright, sunny images. I don't know if I, if I stress this enough. I told my eBay rep that I was giving in class. He said, just remember to tell them to take big, huge, bright, <coughs> fun pictures of their product. It increases sell-through by a ton. Check spelling and grammar. Please don't be one of those guys. Make sure you're pricing to account for all your costs. We went over that. Be alert when shipping, shipping, ship with tracking, you gotta be there when you ship. Remember all this stuff, especially for beginners. Ship with tracking, signature required, especially for PayPal. If you're taking credit cards, do your research before you take credit cards, learn how to build. More important than feedback, make sure your detailed seller ratings are maintained. They can change this rule tomorrow, but they're not right now, so you gotta take care of it.
Don't ignore emails. It will not go away. The same customer will email you 47 times and we will reference the 46 times you emailed during the past. Do not ignore email. <laughs> ship right away. If you have no inventory model, just be careful. You really have to ship right away, especially if you're east or west coast. Those Texas guys get busy. Uh, 11, roll with the punches. eBay changes their rules all the time. And it used to get me crazy. And I used to just call them and complain. Literally call my rep. How can you do this? They change stuff before Christmas. They change stuff before busy season. They change stuff all the time. <coughs> Big stuff, little stuff. Hey, we're putting a badge on. You're not getting it. Great. What do I do? They change things. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Understand the new rules. If you're the first to understand it, you have an advantage. Look at it in a positive way. Roll with the punches on eBay. That's probably the most important like, overall message. Q&A. That's me. That's my email. Feel free. I only get about 64,000 emails a day, but I'll, I'll find yours. Uh, email me. Seriously, though, email me if you, if you need something. Uh, and uh, questions? Yeah. I listed something two months ago, and I want to relist it now. Where can I find that? Like, why should you relist it? Right. They usually keep stuff on, uh, on file for like 60 days. So you're saying two months is a funny number because it's about 60 days. Oh. They will drop it. Uh, if so it's below that. Pictures and get towards yeah, you should probably keep something, you should probably keep all that on your hard drive just in case you need to sell it again, like your pictures and stuff. Um, but if you've sold it and had a history of selling it, you'll probably be able to find it. For instance, if you put five of an item and you sold one, right. you'll probably, they'll probably keep it there a little longer because they keep But if you haven't sold it, especially on auction, it's probably gone for 60 days. Yeah. On, on eBay, uh, people should be aware that when the sale is made on eBay, they take the fee right away, regardless of whether the customer paid or not. True. Let's get let's get into that. Now, also, you got you have to fight back for that money. You have to get you have to get that money. So one part of it's yeah okay. So internet, this you really should do. A, there's a way on eBay to do. Uh, you have to get paid. There's a button that says um, uh, require immediate payment. Press it. If you're doing auctions. Again, what you say is very valid. Uh, make sure you get paid. If you don't get paid, you have to file for a final value for your refund because they will take the funds. Uh, you should be on top of it. Obviously, especially if you're selling high end, but all the time, it's money in the garbage. Follow your your final value fees. They're not going to cheat you on stuff that if you, you sold it out, their math is always right, and it's not. But and they take the money regardless. They take the money regardless if and you have to fight for it. You do have to fight. It's not a fight. They have something called an automatic final value fee uh, helper. Yeah, but that's like 60 days later or something, right? Uh, it's part of that's seven days. You can set it to less. Yeah. You can set it to a week. You can even set it for three days. But you get your money back in a week. Uh, but yeah, you definitely have to make sure if you're not requiring immediate payment, again, this is a little bit more advanced, but the truth is you should all know about it if you're putting anything up. Especially on auction, you want to get your money, you want to make sure if the guy doesn't pay you, not doing immediate uh, immediate money required, then you have to make sure to follow that and file for a final value. Yes. <coughs> <coughs> okay, here. Uh, there's some, okay. The question she said, what she asked was, um, is there a way to email people watching you? Uh, well, you can if they're bidding on your product. Oh, there's a watch. No, there's a watch. Watching them. Not as far as I know. Hey, listen, nothing I say is law. Again, they change things all the time. But I don't I, I don't think you can email people just watching you. Yeah, they don't want you contacting anybody outside of eBay. That's a big no-no. They want their money. Hey, even if you say, hey, what's going on? No, they have to ask, ask your email. I've seen, I've seen live chat. Some people's listings have live chat on them. They have such incredible whatever. I don't know how eBay allows that because... Again, they probably see that as a way to sell off eBay. But yeah, I don't think you can email somebody just watching your list. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, there are many, many, many companies that do multiple listing, bulk listing. The most popular is Channel Advisor, but it's also the most expensive. Uh, there's others called Octiva, A-U-C, I think Octiva, <coughs> which is uh, pretty cheap. Uh, I think there's Inkfrog, is that one? There's a bunch of others. I mean, if you just use their own. Uh, you know what, even Turbo Link, you're saying? I haven't, I, I haven't researched that in a while. I remember that back in the day when we started, but there are a lot of companies that, third party companies like Channel Advisor, like Beefrog, like Optiva, who do it and do it cheap. Yeah? Okay, the question was, if you have a website selling product and you want to you flip the items onto eBay to see if you can sell them there to, to increase your, your, your viewership, uh, it's a good idea and a bad idea. 
It's a good idea because eBay is very popular. People will see your product, but the prices that you charge on your site will not be the price you charge on eBay, probably. The cost is a lot more overhead than selling on eBay, probably. I don't know your model. But eBay charges in the vicinity of 4, 8, 6, 10, 8 percent, whatever. You're going to have to adjust your pricing. Also, it's not, there's not one button that sends your stuff from your site to your to eBay unless you have a program that you're working with. No, so let's say I have a particular style that I won't put on my site, so I'll Yeah, you can put it on both of so Just I make it. Names, so I can have them all. A million percent. Go on there, list something, it'll cost you 25 cents. A hundred percent. People will see. Yeah. Um, you mentioned something, eBay rep. How, how do you get a rep? I mean, uh, what, do they, what, do they, what do they do for you? Well, right now eBay has very good customer service, whereas in, the, in like years and years ago they did not give uh, phone numbers out. Now there's, it's right on the site. Call us eBay customer service. As far as a personal rep, yeah, they have to call you. Okay, the next question, you mentioned about Infrog. I, I, I missed that one. I missed sure. Uh, multiple <laughs> listing tools. What is multiple listing tools? In other words, if you have a whole line of items, of 100 items that you want to just throw on and you want somebody else to handle it, it's going to cost you. But there are companies that can do that for you. Channel Advisor is one. Ink Frog is another. Octiva is a third. Uh, there are, I don't have a list. I guess I could have brought a list, but again, I didn't think that would be interesting. But again, there are a lot of different. If you want to email me, I'll email you 40 places that do it. Okay. okay? Thank you. Oh, wow. Well, a lot of people have said. Okay, go ahead. Can you give me something that doesn't have a code? Right. If it doesn't have a code, it doesn't have a UPC, it doesn't have any of that stuff, it's a unique item, it's fine. Put it in there, they say, hey, we can't find it. Would you like to list on your own? You say yes, and you just go from there. If you have a very large item and you want to outsource shipping, do you have any recommendations on how to... What do you mean by large? A pinball machine. pinball machine is like freight. You're going to want it to call a trucking company. It's probably going to cost you at least about $150 shipping. Does it pay to have an eBay store? If you're selling an eBay right now, does it pay to have an eBay yes. store also? Yes. Is it going to be more exposure to the other search engines? Exposure, probably. They don't say yes or no to a lot of things. Probably yes, and your insertion fees are lower. And yes. what's the What's lower? Insertion fees are lower. We went over that. Remember the five, five cents <coughs> versus 30 cents? <coughs> like yes. Do we need to set up, or right. does it come as part of the whole package? <coughs> things like, when I buy something on eBay, automatically I get an invoice. Yeah. As soon as they ship it, I get an email. And as soon as it... They charge you once a month. You can put a credit card on file. They'll, they'll bill you directly. And they'll do. They have all this set up. Yeah. How do you check your DSR status? How do you check your DSR status? Was the question. There's a little button next to your your uh, feedback. You just click into your feedback, and it'll give you your whole little seller dashboard. But you won't get that until you sell a certain amount. Probably like I don't know, 20 or 30 or 40 uh, pieces. Another thing, if you're starting, buy cheap items to get started. Can't believe I forgot this. But go online, search for one dollar item, fifty cent items, China, Japan, who cares? Uh, it doesn't matter. Buy one dollar items, fifty cent items, get goods in, they will leave you feedback. These items are there for feedback. This way you build your feedback early instead of selling with no feedback, which not many people will like. Get 20, 30, 40, 50 feedback, and then go. You have another question. And, and, and what stage do you become a top rated seller? Top rated seller, I think you have to have at least a hundred feedback uh, or a hundred transactions. I don't remember exactly. Yeah, transactions. Transactions. Yeah. Well, and uh, and um, uh, I think that's pretty much it. A certain do or a dollar amount. They're not going to let you do 100 penny transaction. It has to be a certain dollar amount. Yeah, back there. Doesn't matter. You're done. 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 Don't don't lose sleep over it. Move on. Move on. Do your best. Contact them. Email them. Refund this money. A lot of times when customers don't answer us, we leave a message for them. All right, we want to talk to you about your refund. We get a call. Yeah, sorry, just wondering, uh, customers sometimes resent to have the signature requirements. So is there any way to work around that? Well, sometimes they're not home. It will not be covered. What? It will not be covered. Is there any alternative option? No, we have a problem with these customers. We do. Yeah, but you have to do signature required. It's the only way. You won't get a claim with UPS. You won't get a claim with PayPal. I have to have signature required. So the customer has to pay back. Yes, and you can't let them reroute the package to UPS. Again, this is for a different class. A lot of thieves, the new thing they came out with was like four or five years ago, they reroute the package, they order it with your credit card, goes to your house, I say okay, PayPal says okay, and they reroute it. Now there's a no reroute either. So they have to be on. Yeah. Yeah, is there any advantage over, um, other than auctions to eBay, is there any other advantage you know, using eBay versus Amazon? Uh, yeah. yeah. Personal? It's a personal thing. Best to do both. Amazon or we'll sell them. 
Yeah. Last question. Oh boy. All right. I'll do this quickly. Let's go. Yeah. Right. Get more sales with returns. Get more sales with returns. Quick. Daily deals. How do you get? Daily deals. You have to be a top-rated seller. You got to have a rep, and you got to have good price, and you got to have a lot, at least two hundred dollars in stock. Next. Go. Is it true if uh, if it's below a two hundred and fifty dollars sale that you'll be covered as long as it's confirmed? That was a rule a couple years ago. I don't know if it's still there. Good question. I can't be sure of it. No, it is. Fulfillment yeah. center. They're working on. It's in the works. They bought a. They bought a couple of massive warehouses. It's conspiracy theory stuff. But they have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Auction or buy now. Auction. You'll get more momentum. Customers like it. You'll probably even get more visibility. <laughs> yeah. He's worried. You have some, you have some issues. Buy it now, you get paid better, it's, and it's it's a lot more professional type customer. I think I think he's gonna kill me. Go ahead, nice one. An animal or it's similar to this? Yeah. You lose money doing business. You will lose money. It happens. Hopefully not long term. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you.